stories about her they do break you, don't you? Which was the most that has broken you? Well, all the things about, I mean, no, it's a lot. So, I mean, we, we get broken and we get, we get back on our So feet. many stories. I mean, as a mother, um, if I should hear some stories about my child, especially it in the public domain, mm. I don't know how I react. And so I just want to know how you have reacted, how you have taken stories. You know, recently she had an issue with Black Rasta. Black Rasta mm. called her names, <laughs> said she was on drugs. Some story portals have reported that she's on drugs. How do you take it all in? Well, Mommy? I know my daughter. And so I just tell her not to follow it. Just take it in. Let's pray about it. It will die off. Does it break her? Oh, well, it would. Because these are instances where you are working on something. Because some of the times we're working on something that should push her somewhere. And then these things come up. That's why I was saying earlier on that we have to be careful the way we do things and say things because you never know the effect. Because one of the instances we were working on a project, a huge project, and this broke it. You know, so as a mother, of course, I'll feel bad about it. But I think that God has a better place for her. So what? Maybe these are all propellers. So why not? So the project didn't come on because of these fake stories? Yes, of course. I mean, if you are an investor, and you want to put in into somebody and you hear things about the person, whether it's true or not, before you say Jack, you may have, you know, taken a step back to check it. Yes, of course, it would affect us. And it does affect us. But like I said, you're a true Christian. The better part of us is yet to come. Not what is gone. No, I don't believe in that. I believe in what is ahead and it's bigger and better. So we are praying for it mm. and it will come.